Okay, so uh, where we left off last stream was we had made two songs and started this one. And I'll go ahead and play it for you guys so you can hear it. that's where we were so we got our record down that was uh this piano sound we got its accompanying bass chord Uh, we got our uh, first drum pattern. And then the variation. And then our lead in. And then where we needed to go from here is go ahead and get a third drum set in. So I'm going to clone this one. We are going to move it down. And uh, we're just going to make a more upbeat variation that'll go for the chorus section. So I'm doing it on ones and threes. I think that's nice. Let's paint it in here and then see how it sounds compared to the other two parts. I don't think it sounds distinct enough. And then also I noticed that I need to come over to our uh, city sound and turn it down a bit more. Okay, let's uh, try to make this distinct enough. Okay, let's see if that made it uh, distinct enough. Okay. 
Okay, let's also get a variation of this. And maybe we'll work more with the snare part for this one. Okay, and I think that's good. So let's go in and uh, map out the rest of this section. And then we'll put a lead in here for when it changes again. And then let's go ahead and uh, copy these. And just kind of paste it over towards the end of the song. About right there. Now we'll get rid of these last ones. And now we can start making the drum pattern for the rest of the song. So we'll go back into the first set here. Put a lead in here. Then we'll do a second chorus. And then we'll do a drumless section for eight bars. Go into chorus again. And I need to go back here, put a lead in here. We'll go back to the first pattern. And then let's do um, a chorus that's a little longer. And we're pretty close to the end there. So let's do another drumless section. into chorus of normal length. I did not mean to move that. There we go. And then we'll do Uh, we'll go ahead and put down this first set here and here, and then we'll leave the drum off for the end. And now we've got our basic structure for the song. Let's go ahead and go into our instruments and see if we can uh, create a nice melody. So let's focus on. The odd. Let me get the the color code. We'll copy it. And then uh 
paste it here so that they're the same color. The reason I already have the colors and layers set up here, we had set the instruments and stuff up in a previous song, and I'm just continuing to use them. So let's go into uh, our instrument and find a beat we like. I'm going to see how low it goes. But three. I think the four octave is nice and rich. Let's maybe get something with that. I'm just going to get uh, four bars. And then maybe I'll pair it with a higher octave note too. Okay, and then I think I'll do in the highest octave a compliment to the things here. And we'll make them very short. Mm, 
No, that doesn't sound quite right. doesn't go up that high. Yeah, I don't like that. But I do like what I have. I think this will be our first melody. I'll go ahead and start it at the beginning. Let's see how it works with the rest of the song. second uh, melody. It's a little more upbeat. to change up the end a little here. And then I'm 
going to clone this and make a variation where the end is just a little different. Okay, and let's see how the song sounds so far. There's something in the chorus that I'm not liking, and it's in the last measure. So let's go do some detective work. Let's go ahead and remove these and just extend these out like so. And let's see how that uh, handles. that helps but I'm also not liking this piano that much so let's go ahead and get flex up in here let me actually go ahead and delete this I'm going to pull flex over here. And let's go over to the pianos and try to find one that works better. I like this one better. No, close. The close one's better. I'm going to have to change our uh, lead in to our riser. So I gotta go back to Edison. Completely get rid of this. Okay, we've got our first note. Let's go ahead and reverse this. That sounds good. Let's uh, trim a little bit off the end here. Let's go ahead and do a fade in. Okay, let's plop that in the song.
let's go ahead and paint the rest of this pattern down into this long. Leave it out of this section. And then we went back into the course after this. So let's get the appropriate patterns down. Get these in here. We're back into the chorus section, but this one's longer. So we'll get two of the first chorus melody. And then we'll put the second one down. Let's leave it blank for that part. Comes back into the melody, chorus melody here. And then just into the regular pattern here. And we'll have this one for the end of that sound. Okay, and then let's get. Uh, before I do that, actually, I'm going to come in here and grab the color first. So we'll copy that. And uh, paste it here. Okay, we kind of want it to come in here. So. Let's go over to this. I'm going to copy it and paste it over into the nave. I'm going to bring these up an octave. And I'm going to get rid of all these lower ones. Okay, and I'm going to create just a random pattern here. So this is the last note we can do. Let's see if we can do a pitch. Oh, no, I don't want that. I believe this one can't. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, we'll just do a normal notes. this one's not registering because it's too high so we're going to bring it down
Okay, let's see how it pairs with the song. Okay, let's get the staccato uh, brought in there. So we'll do wind stack. I'm gonna forgot to grab this color. So we're gonna do that. There we go, and then let's go in. Maybe I wanted a higher octave. Oh, it goes really high. What are the lower octaves sound like? Oh, that's fun too. Okay, so definitely stay at seven. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need that to be a little a little longer. So I could get a feel for how to adjust it. Okay. Get at least a full bar in here. Forgot to copy these. Okay. Gonna move all of these down, or maybe I'll move them up. This probably is a little too much, uh, too much. We'll go through and get rid of every other one. This one, we're gonna bring everything down. And so let's just go do that real quick. Just going to erase every other one and then we'll extend out. But we don't need to extend out their staccatos, so they're only that one beat long anyway. I didn't move this one down. Okay. 
Okay, let's. I'm going to move all of these over. And same with the mid range. I do like the back and forth. Let's change up some notes. Can I add some variation? And I really like this bassy, bassoon y sound. So I think I'm going to do the variation on this one too. Let's get like a, a bit of a piccolo kind of trill in here if we can. I don't know if I can make that any smaller. Okay, let's see how that sounds. Okay, it's a little too much. So we're going to pare this down. We're going to get rid of some of these middle octaves. Get rid of everything in the 6 and the 5 range. You know, I think I'm just going to focus on the lower notes for now. I think I'm going to start over. 
Delete. And then let's in this spot hit a symphony going. And I messed around with some of my uh, uh, FL Studio settings, so maybe I can actually get the full symphony in here without the sound dying. We're going to try. I believe it's just this color. Let's get a symphony pattern in.
Okay, so I think I need these notes to have a good sound. This one will be our introduction. So let's make a two bar length introduction on every every instrument. And we are going to make this faded so it won't have such a stark entrance. So let's go ahead and rename this intro. We'll have it fade in and then we'll have our beat. So let's go ahead and clone this and then rename it. Just symphony. And then let's find a pattern that we like. I'm going to go ahead and mute the other channels. That way we can just listen to the one that we're on. I missed one. No, it is this one. Okay.
Okay, I think that's a very nice sound. Let's go into our next uh, set, which is these strings, and make some uh, accompanying melodies. Concern to get the choppiness. Um, let's see. There is something dissonant happening here in second note. So let's find out what it is. In the second or third note. It's this A. I think these may be too loud. Let's take those out. Yeah, well, I don't think it'd add anything. Yeah, let's leave out the higher octave there. Now we're on to the horns. Let me unmute it. And maybe I'll just, um, let's see how this sounds. Yeah, like nothing's happening. Uh, let's rid of these
I'm going to pause that real quick. Let me mute these. That doesn't sound good at all. For some reason, these horn sounds sound really muted. Like they're super quiet, whispering trumpets. I didn't tell them to whisper. They just decided to do that on their own. That's too high an octave. Oh, is that what's going on? Okay, I need to change this whole upper level. Let's go over here to horns now. Let me mute these other channels. Let's do like a wall on these ones. Not really, but just a one, two, three. And on this last one, let's come back down. I think I'm just going to do that for all of it. So let's just copy and paste. And then in the third one, we bring this one up and this one down to the A. gotta move this into the proper position.
Let's hear how it all sounds together. And we'll put that in. Yeah, we're getting the... Oh, the scuffing. I may have to go through and fix that off stream. Yeah, it's it's just um too much power. I'll have to wait till I'm not streaming, but I can get it in and edit it later. So this is gonna follow the rest of the song. And we'll cut it off. And bring this down to I'm gonna bring everything back one so we can kind of end here. Let's put the third one in here. And then we'll have the symphony in here. So now we need we have the intro, so let's clone this. Bring it down and rename it outro. And now we just need to come in here and make sure everything is still good. And we'll paste it here. Now let's get some sound enveloping done. I believe I have one of these is named, yeah, here's ambient. We're going to create automation clip. We're going to create a little riser or a little rise for the ambient sound here. So it comes in a little more softly. Then we're going to go to the end and taper it off at the end. So it has a fade out. We need to move this back new, back in. Okay. We probably need to have the nay be the final focus here. Let's bring the symphony back one. Now we can go over here to our symphony controller and create an automated clip. And let's go ahead and move this to where the symphony actually starts. Right here. And then we want to create I don't know why it did that, but it sure did that, didn't it? Okay, let me undo those. Move it to proper. Like such, okay. We'll have its peak here, but we only want it to about 50% of its full sound. And we'll have the gentle slope up. It still started out at max volume for some reason. Let me make sure that they're assigned to their proper track. So for some reason, okay, I, I see what I did. So here, this needs to be with four. I don't know why it was with the ambience track, but it was. So now they're all where they should be.
Now we can do a proper slope in. Let me play that again. Yeah, for some reason it started out at full volume. Even though this is clearly set to zero. So maybe, oh, I see. We're, we were one bar off. And that's where it'll start. You'll have to wait till it's finished to hear that part. So then we'll pull this one in to where the symphony actually ends. Right here. And then let's drop that down so it has a gradual fade out. Okay, I need to bring this in a little more. We'll have it in there. And then I think... I think I'll also do one for our staccato. I have it assigned to a track. Let's come here and get an automated clip for it. And let's uh, do something in these areas. Okay, I'm going to create a fade in and out in these sections. Maybe not like that. Yeah, that sounds dumb. I changed my mind. Get out of here. Okay, let's make sure it's at regular volume. And we'll let it start here, but I'm going to move over to the end. And let's do a fade out over here. But with a curve like this. Uh oh. Hi, uh, Shield Gastropod. Thank you for coming by. Always a pleasure to see you. Enjoy your lurk. I know I'm a spooky ghost just for this month only, but I'm still a friendly ghost. We can still be friends. Uh, let's see here. I do believe. Yeah, I got a shout out for you. So people can check you out over on your socials. Can't wait for your debut. Um, let's fix this. I need to go to my unsorted because it sounds like the nay and the wit. Yeah, the staccato is paired with the nay. So we need to assign it to its own track and then uh, we will adjust the envelope as needed. Is there anything on five? I think five is good. Five is free. You're welcome, Sheld. Anytime. We take care of our space friends here. Shout you guys out. Um, let's go back to our panel here and then get a proper automation clip. And come to the end. 
pull this in. And we'll lower this so it has a nice curve out. Nope, I assigned the wrong thing. Didn't I? I did. Okay, this goes back to four. This goes to five. For some reason, the nay is still. That's why it's attached to the symphony layer. Let's get that out of there. Finally correct. Let's create a second knee pattern specifically for the end. So let's. No, I don't want to delete. Thank you. That's why I leave that message up there. <laughs> why did I put clone and delete so close together in this program? Okay. And let's go to the end and make a longer sustained section of notes. Let's fix this end a little. Just need something a little more. Oh, that's why. Uh, this one doesn't make a noise. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to mute this symphony layer so we don't get the scuff in the audio. Okay, and that's sounding good. So I'm going to give it one final listen from the beginning, minus symphony, because uh, the computer can't handle that right now. So let's give it a sound and do a final check.
Okay, I think it, everything's working out as far as I can tell. It's just those same patterns again all the way to the end. Uh, and I'll have to come back and edit the symphony parts later off screen. So I think we're ready to move on to our next song. So let me go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to do a save here. And then we're just going to do a save as. And we'll still use all the same instruments. They're cute. I like them. We'll keep them around. Okay. Yep, here we go. And then I'm just going to select everything and delete it. In this section, same with all our layers and all our clips. And so now I'll go into here and delete all those. And now we've got a fresh slate to work with. Go ahead and make sure everything's unmuted, and we'll just switch back to our unsorted. So let's get into the chord. Let's see, what kind of sound do we want this time? And let's do a full four. Maybe, maybe some dissonance would sound good. That actually does sound pretty nice. I'll have to keep that in mind though whenever I am editing things later on. Uh because I don't I want to make sure all the E's are on here and F's are on here and that the two do not mix lest we rupture people's eardrums. Let's get some other notes in here so we can flush out this chord. I just said not to do that and I did that. Let's bring these down on the octave proper. I think an F and a G may be too close together. No, it actually sounds fine. Okay. Okay, let's get a lower one too.
I need to change this. I think that this is too low for my ear, for my ears to like it. So maybe we'll stick with the five octave. Let's go down to our ambience pack and find one that works nice with our chord. We'll have our chord starting there. Let's go ahead and go down to my sound font, my ambience. We do four sounds. Those are always fun. a lot of wind so I'm trying to avoid that I really like the children in the school effect let's get that down let's also turn it down so it's not overpowering everything Let's make sure that this clip, uh, here we go, goes all the way to the end. I went way too far. Kind of wanted it to end around the 80 mark as closely as possible. So I think this, yeah, this is the proper length we're going for. Okay, and then. Let's get a base uh, for our chord. So we'll create a chord base layer. Let's go ahead and copy the color from here so that everything's matching. Okay, and then we'll go copy this chord, go to our bass layer, and to our bass guitar, post this down, lower it an octave, and then we'll remove these top notes. So 
let's raise it one and see if that enhances the sound at all. That's a uh, too high an octave. So let's add this in, make sure it works. So I also want to get the E and F at the end here. I need to get rid of this last note accompanying it and bring this up because it's lost its um, power being that low. And I think I need to raise both those C notes up even more. So that's good there. Let's get in our first drum pattern. And again, I'm going to come in here, copy this color, and redo it here. Okay, let's get a drum pattern. We'll do ones and threes because it always sounds wrong when I do it on twos and fours. There's just something about it that's always off. So I think what we'll do is this will be the first drum pattern, then we'll clone it, and on drum pattern two we'll do the extra uh, snare for the variant. And then let's get a lead in. Let's change the color in here to match. Okay, let's, this actually needs to be moved down and I just realized we're doing everything on threes this time so that'll be fun recount measures instead of four let's change it up That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our Edison and create our riser for our piano. So it's over here in two. Let's get in here and clear the old one. 
make sure we're on our cord over here so we're on pattern okay we just want the first note so let's get rid of the second note here we'll reverse this we'll cut out the extra bit here and then let's do a fade in And that'll be our riser. Let's bring this over and bring it pretty close, but not touching. And then we got a nice little riser. Let's go over here. I think I like not having the drums here for a little bit as we introduce. I think we'll do the name first. And you know, I think I want to get some some piano in here as well. I think that'd be real nice or like a music box sound. I do like the sound of music box. OK, I'm going to copy the chord all the way towards the end, but not quite. Uh, we can do it a couple more times. Like so. And then let's uh, go ahead and create our chorus drum pattern. Let's get it under here so everything's in order. We can keep track of things. And this one we're going to make just a little more upbeat. We'll have this be our chorus drum beat, and we'll start it there. And then I'm going to clone this, and the variant will have this third um, percussion here. So let's get uh, these placed down. And we'll do a lead in here and we'll do the non chorus drum set. And since we're working in threes this time, it's going to be one measure less than the last time we were working on it. And now I'm just going to place down the rest of the drum patterns for the song. I guess I could go ahead and play the song in the background so you guys aren't bored out of your mind. I think we'll do another pause here. make this chorus a little longer.
change it up a little here. And we'll have a final chorus here. be drumless for the last set of the chord there and until the end of the song. So now that we've got that let's get a nail layer and grab the color. And let's find a good melody. I'm going to see, do I still have my, no I don't, okay. I'm going to come in here to the chorus real quick. I'm going to copy these. And then we'll go back here to the knee. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to go ahead and raise everything an octave. This is just so I can tell which notes are playing where, so I don't get the F where the E is, and vice versa. Okay. So these are all kosher. Let's see. Okay. We do an F in this one, so that'll be fine there. Maybe we can do a nice step up here. Let me get rid of all these so we can hear our melody just fine. Okay, I'm going to change this last one because here's where it goes from an E to an F in the chorus and we'll just match that. Okay and let's place this down here and make sure that it works with everything. Can I put this in the wrong layer? There we go. So yeah, it does work. Let's go ahead and get this down here into the chorus. And then right about here, we'll introduce the string instrument.
So let's go ahead and get that. So it starts in the non chorus section. So that really makes a difference. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm just going to. Come in here and copy the color first. Okay, and then we'll get our layer here. Okay. And let's find. I love all the octaves of this, so it's hard for me to choose if I want to do a higher octave or a lower octave. That's too low. I think I'm going to change up this a little bit. mess with the audio levels real quick. You're not going to turn the string instrument down a bit. this and get a chorus version.
to see. Let's do the original string instrument here and we'll bring in the staccato winds there. I forgot to grab that color. Oh, it's in my history. So I'll just go there. And then let's come into this area. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe we'll do E and F. Maybe in the lower octave. That sounds a little too menacing. Let's do that. Hmm. We're doing everything by threes, so I'm gonna have to do it one more time, at least for it to be even. gonna have to change the f's and the e's let's see let's go back to our a layer get out of here okay so first bar no e's or f's second one an e and the f in the middle And third one, E's until the last. Let's try to go with that. So these should be fine here. These change to F's. So let's change it to C down here instead. And this changes to F. This may be a little less dissonant now. Yeah, just doesn't sound good. Let's take out anything ENF related. We'll just start over. How about that? I gotta change this. And then let's copy this and paste it over. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Why did it get so long? I copied it over too many times, that's why. did six bars here but I only need three I 
Oh, forgot one at the very end. There we go. These are still not long enough. I need to do this again. Let's get in here. I just need one more. That's too high. Copy paste. These need to change. Whoops. These need to change to the chorus variant. Sorry, Jack, sorry, sorry, I didn't see you. I don't know how long ago you were in here. Good to see you. Let me give you a shout out. I saw you test earlier. Didn't see you streaming until now. Yeah, I had to do a voice test to make sure I wasn't robot plus like I was over on the Surviving Mars stream. Welcome in. I hope you're not spreading yourself thin anymore. Please take care of yourself. You're a good friend. Rule number one of the atrium, take care of friends. And let's give you a clip shout out. I'm doing much better right now. That's good to hear. What a lovely day. I, hope, I sure hope no one steals the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Seth. I can't believe Yoshi turn one with one with like literally one space to go immediately got a star and started obliterating all of us. Really? From that early on, he was destroying you? Pure evil. Fan art I got during my birthday stream. <laughs> Man, Yoshi was on a roll. From the beginning, he was out for your jugular. He was like, this guy, it's his birthday, and I'm about to ruin his entire year. <laughs> uh, welcome in. We finished the song earlier, and now we're into our second one. It was destruction. It was a bloodbath. Let's see, I just got down the staccato instrument I wanted. And now I'm going to find a place where I want to begin our symphony. Uh, wait, you already finished the track? Yes, I did. I finished one, but um, it's one of those things where I have to edit a lot of it. Or not a lot of it, the symphony section off stream. It got too choppy. I messed around with some of my studio settings and I was able to get uh, farther. You know, people were able to listen to it for a longer time, but in the end, it was still too, too strong a program for my little potato. So um, I'll edit it more off stream. But uh, yeah, we're hoping. Maybe we'll get this song done this stream too, and then this weekend I'll release a stream compilation album that has all of our 
songs we've made on stream so far, as well as the song for my intro, BRB, and outro. And the outro one's the one you love so dearly. We'll love to hear the final product. Can't wait to share it. Let's see. From that one, I am hoping doesn't give me problems because <laughs> I used drum samples for that one. So hopefully everything will go through smoothly and I won't try to get copyright dinged for a sample that's free for everyone to use. So here we're back into the original sound. So I got to move this back. Those are in the wrong place. No, it's in the right place. Let's hope not. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can get it up on everywhere that streams music. Okay, and we'll start the symphony here, I think. So let me finish out the patterning for the rest of the song, and then we'll start creating that. So that's the chorus there. This is the in-between. Why do I have those there? Those don't belong there. And then we'll bring this out a little further. Actually, no, we have a chorus that starts here. So we need to switch to our chorus version. And then we'll end on that. We'll just bring it all the way out. About here. And these can remain the same. So we'll just copy paste it all the way over. Go to the end, bring this out, and then we'll end on the nay again. So let's bring it out here. I'm actually going to erase these back. And then we'll get a nice symphony introduction. And then let's go here. I don't think I want a full range symphony like the last ones. I think I'll just keep it with the lower octaves for this one. I think only up to five and we'll only do those three. Since we're on uh, freeze three time, I think we'll leave it at just one bar. And get it in for all our accompanying instruments. Have you ever played any of the Soul series? An interesting fact is it's kind of built like a rhythm game. So a lot of the bosses and stuff, if you memorize their patterning, it's kind of like playing a rhythm game. But um, the reason that people find um, the Veiled Dancer such a hard boss to defeat is their timing is in a different time set. So everything else is um, like quarter time. But um, the the uh, veiled boss, the veiled dancer, um, is actually in three thirds time. So they find it to be an incredibly hard boss to beat because it's a completely different rhythm pattern from the rest of the game. So fun fact: if you've ever had trouble with uh, that particular boss, that Maybe why? They conditioned you for fourth fourth time and she's in three thirds. 
So we'll get our nice little introduction there. And then let's uh, clone this. And actually, I can rename this top one. It'll be intro and outro. And I'm going to come all the way down here and plop one at the end. Since it's only one bar. And we're not doing a gradual introduction of the entire symphony. And then we'll rename this one to just symphony. And then we'll get in here to the piano roll. So let's get a pattern. And I think I'm going to keep it kind of like the chorus. So here let's do let's do an EF here. And let's figure out what to do with the rest of it. Will oh, this one be the same? And then I'm going to change these around so they're not all the same note. And then let's do So that's a lot of depth when we took out that lower note, so let's go ahead and keep it the same. That's too high. I think I'm going to make these shorter. Yeah. No, don't die on me, please. I didn't get a chance to save. Please don't crash. Don't be like this. I'm a good girl. I'm a very good girl. I don't deserve this to crash. Please. Please. Just like pretty please. Please. No. <laughs> I lost that whole song. I lost it all. No. No. Please wait. Please. <laughs> that travesty. No, don't do this to me. Come on. I believe in you. You can do it. The heart of the cards. 
Come on. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. I think, I think I've lost this one. <laughs> the power of friendship. Friendship is magic. Come on. Go. Oh. Rip. <laughs> that one's gone forever. This is. So sad. No. I lost that whole song. Ah. Close the program, I guess. Thinking of the bright side, you were streaming it. Yes, it existed. Therefore, it will always exist in some form. <laughs> Just not the form I can export. You can retrace your steps. Oh, that's true. That is true. I can just follow my my VOD along. All right, let's see what it loads up. All right, how how bad is it? Uh, let's see. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Do people even get that reference anymore? Are we old? Jax, are we old? Okay, yeah, it <laughs> completely demolished everything. That's horrible. We might be old. <laughs> oh, my heart. My little girl heart. All right. So the reason there's stuff here is I had saved it from the previous song. So it's just got the previous song here. Well, since you're here and I've got nothing but the previous song in here, um, I'll play it for you since you missed out on it.
set on going to stop it before it gets to the scuffy symphony section. Oh, this hurts. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream early today so I can work on this because I still got Rattober. My Rattober piece to work on too. I'll just go through and delete all these while I'm here. Uh, well, that's all, folks. Okay. Um, I know. I know. I had children at playground. Was the was the ambient effect? Well, I can get that in there. And I took it too far. There we go. So I at least know that by heart. Yay! <laughs> One part down. Oh well, the hard part was figuring it out. Now I just gotta redo it. Two hours. It's my normal streaming length too. Well, I stream usually for three. But this is my... uh Kind of my job you know i don't have anything else other than this and doing art and learning from the world so uh three hours is what i usually do but since we've had a snafu and i've got extra work on my plate today uh, i think that's where we will end it so thank you so much for stopping by friends thank you jixoy for spending your time with me i hope you take care of yourself and you're not spreading yourself too thin, Mr. Triple Streamer over there. Thank you for stopping by. So uh, you can now listen to Sweet Home Boon pretty much anywhere music is streamed. And uh, you can buy it, I think, on like iTunes and stuff, but just listen to it for free on like YouTube or something. It's my recommendation. Um, you get it for like half off if you join my Patreon. You get some other stuff with it, but just... Do yourself a favor and listen to it for free. So until next time, space friends, have fun. <laughs>